Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from Geotech. The problem states a 10-foot layer of clay at Site 1 experiences a max consolidation of 11 inches, with 9 of that occurring after 6 years. The soil above and below the clay is gravel. Site 2 has an identical clay layer but has a silty sand layer above and a very hard clay layer below it. If the pre-consolidation pressure and any increase in pressure is the same at both layers, what is the settlement in inches after 6 years at Site 2? Alright, so we've got these two sites. We need to find some sort of correlation so that we can find out what the consolidation is, the settlement is, at Site 2. Um, so what I'm going to be using is chapter 40 and the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, specifically page 40-5, and that's going to be equation 40.20. basically states that the time to consolidate, this is for primary consolidation rate, is TV H squared over CV. And TV is a time factor, CV is a coefficient of consolidation, H is a layer thickness. And depending on what layers are above and below it, you could either have uh, double drainage or single drainage. I can tell right off the bat that site one, because you have graveled above and below, that allows for good flow between the layers, you're going to have double drainage here. And what that means is our H is cut in half. So basically for site one, our H is going to be 5 feet. And for site 2, H is, this is a hard clay layer, so water does not permeate that. It's only going to be draining out of one side. That's through the sand layer. So that's going to be left as 10 feet, single drainage. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, if you look at table 40. Point one. It goes over approximate time factors and it has UZ and TV. Uh, TV is your time factor and UZ is degree of consolidation. And in the paragraph above that it talks about that UZ is the fraction of the total consolidation that is expected. So what we need to do is if we take the 9 inches divide it by the 11 inches because the 11 was the max consolidation that we're going to see that gives us uh, 82 percent 0.82 or 82 percent and if you look on the table for uh, UZ because that's what this is that gives us a TV value and I'm just going to approximate this so for 82%, it's approximately 0 0.6. I'll show you how to interpolate uh, in a little bit as we keep going, but for this problem, I, I think we're safe to uh, take an educated guess on that. So 0 0.6 is what I'm going to choose. All right, so let's go to the equation. If we manip manipulate, can't talk, if we manipulate this equation, equation 40.20 and solve for CV because we don't know that. Everything else we know for site 1. We know T because we got 6 years. TV we just solve for. We know H. We don't know CV. And if we know CV we can use it on site 2 and uh, back calculate what we need so that we can solve for our um, consolidation. So okay. Let's rearrange the equation. So CV equals TV H squared over T. What does that give me? 0 0.6 times 5 squared over 6 years. That gives me 2.5 and that is feet squared per year. That's the units of that. All right, let's go to site two. Site two, our H is going to be 10 feet. And we're going to re... Well, we're not going to rearrange the equation. We're just going to 
Well, yeah, we are. So we're going to take TV. We're going to solve for TV. And that's going to be CV T over H squared. So if we can find uh, TV, we can go to that table 40.1 and get our UZ, the degree of consolidation. And then basically use this equation here because we know it's a fraction of it and um, get what the actual settlement is after uh, so many years. So, okay. So let's solve for TV. That gives us, we got 2.5 for CV times 6 years divided by H is 10 feet squared. What does that give me? That gives me 0 0.15. Okay, so now we need to use the table. I'm going to go up here. So if we go to table 40.1, I'm going to show you how to remember how to interpolate. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our TV column. And the TV column, we know the TV we're looking we have is 0 0.15 if we subtract what's before that that's 0 0.126 and divide that by the two knowns which is 0 0.197 minus 0 0.126 0 0.126 minus and you set that equal to, now we're going to go over to the UZ column, and the first thing we got is the 0 .9, 1.197 corresponds to 0 0.5, and we're going to subtract X, because that's the value we're looking for, we know it's in between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5, and divide that by 0 0.5, minus 0 0.4 that is a 4 if you can't read that so you need to solve for this and if you do you'll get an X of 0 0.466 which corresponds to our that, that's our U our UZ okay so now that we know that now we can just plug it in so let's solve for our settlement settlement at site 2. We know what we're looking for is X. We know the maximum consolidation is 11 inches and that's got to, we're going to set that equal to the degree of consolidation which was 0 0.466 what we solve for and I get a uh, consolidation here of 5.13 inches. This is an 11 is in inches, so X is 5.13 inches. That's what's going to happen after six years with the same pressures at both locations. It's the only way that we can solve for this because the pressures are all the same. And that gives me an answer closest to D. D is the final answer. So this um, is kind of a tough problem. you got to think about how to solve this one. Um, problem on the P might not be this difficult, but it's good to know how to do primary consolidation rates. So hope this helped you. Head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks. Thanks, bye.